Hi, everybody. I have two alternators here, and each one is spec'd out for a 2004 Ford Explorer with a 4.0 liter V6 engine. Ford made a mid-year change to their electrical system for the Gen 3 Explorer, and part of that meant changing the alternator model that they used. In this case, this Explorer was built in January of 2004, and if I look at the alternator part numbers on all data, this is what it says. There are two different parts, each with the same base part number of 10346, and each with a cutoff date of December 4, 2003. So that means before 12403, they use the AB alternator, and after 12403, they use the BA alternator. Since my Explorer was built in January of 04, I should need the second part listed, which is the BA version. So without double checking, that's the one I ordered. And when it showed up, I found that it's completely not the right part. At first glance, I noticed that the terminals are not in the correct position. On this model, they're flip-flopped as compared to the old part. I thought this would not be a big deal since there's enough cable length to make it work. But there's another problem, and that's the overall size of the unit. This alternator is quite a bit larger than the other, and while it may still physically fit in the same given space, if we compare the mounting holes, we see that they are way off from one another. So one of the bolt holes would not be used. Not a big deal. The correct alternator is pretty easy to find either online or at your local auto parts store. I got both of these from Amazon. The larger one cost $110. There's the part number. And the smaller correct unit costs $87. And there's that part number. Both of them were a way lower in price than what I could find locally for a new part. So there you have it, a lesson learned in double checking your parts before you order them and double checking against your service information because like the example with this Explorer, it's not always correct. So pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below and thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe.